it, it appears that there's some sort of negotiation going on. And what Planned Parenthood says is that it's about the transfer of fetal tissue to biotech companies that will use them for research. And all Planned Parenthood says they're trying to do is to cover their costs for handling or storing or need be to get reimbursed for that. They say that they're not selling the fetal tissue. And by the way, handling, covering costs for the transfer is totally legal. So where do you think the smoking gun is? Right. So there's basically two points there. The first point is that Planned Parenthood is very openly admitting that they do harvest the fetal tissue and they do receive payments in connection with that. So then that means the second point, the only question is really, do the, are those payments constituting a financial benefit to Planned Parenthood and is it constituting a profit that's greater than whatever costs real or imagined they might have for actually supplying the fetal tissue. And when Planned Parenthood partners with a middleman biotech company to allow those technicians to come into their clinic and harvest the body parts, Planned Parenthood actually doesn't incur any costs from the harvesting of the fetal organs. Mm. Because the technicians are the ones who are doing all the consenting of the patients, they're packaging the tissue, they're dissecting the fetuses, they're shipping it off. All of those costs are absorbed by the biotech company, and yet Planned Parenthood is still getting paid $50, $75, even $100 per specimen just yep. from supplying the aborted fetus. Okay, Planned Parenthood disputes that. They say that it is their staff that is doing the consenting, getting the consents from the patients, as well as if they have to do some sort of storage or at least transfer. But we had the uh, executive vice president of Planned Parenthood on New Day this week. Her name is Dawn Legans. And again, she says that they are simply trying to cover their costs. They are in no way selling fetal tissue, and transferring fetal tissue is legal. So listen to what she had to say. Depending on who the research partner is, uh, there are shipping costs, there can be handling costs, we can be talking about different kinds of research. So the cost can, in fact, vary, and that wouldn't be something that a doctor would be the person to decide. That would be somebody in accounting or someone who's in management. I say that unequivocally. Planned Parenthood does not make a profit on fetal tissue. Okay, David, you heard her. She says unequivocally Planned, Pro Planned Parenthood is not making a profit. And in fact, what you did, she says, is unfair because you were targeting doctors who don't really know about all of the accounting practices of how much the transfer costs. Right. Well, that's the point that I wanted to comment on is that, you know, I think she's right that the doctors are not the ones who should be setting those prices. And so, you know, I don't know why the doctors thought that they should be nego excuse me, negotiating with our investigators and even haggling over the price of the fetal specimens with them. Because if it were truly just getting reimbursed for costs, they should have just said, well, our costs are going to be this, our accountant can invoice you and you'll just pay for that. But none of the Planned Parenthood doctors or executives that our investigators spoke with did that. They wanted to, to set prices, specifically arbitrary prices for per body part from the fetuses that we would harvest. Uh, David, how many more of these videos do you have? We've got um, probably anywhere from, from eight to ten more videos to come. The, the exact number could vary, but I've been predicting about a dozen, give or take, when everything is said and, and done. And what's on them? What are the bombshells that you believe people will see? Well, you know, I, I don't really talk about specifically what's going to be on them before the, before the exact release. I, you know, I can say, though, and I'm, I'm happy to say that, you know, in relation to the, to the order from a California court that came down just a few the days ago. The restraining order that uh, is trying to prevent you from releasing mm -hmm. some of the videos. Yeah, how are you responding right. to that? Right, right. So, uh, so the Center for Medical Progress follows all applicable laws in the course of our investigative journalism work, and we're, of course, ready to contest any infringement or attempt to suppress or silence our, our, free, our free speech rights and our rights under the First Amendment to, to publish. The company, STEM Express, which is one of the biotech companies that Planned Parenthood is partnered with to, to harvest their fetal tissue and sell it, STEM Express is trying to suppress a specific video recording of a meeting with their top leadership where their leadership admitted that they sometimes get fully intact fetuses shipped to their laboratory mm -hmm. from the abortion clinics that they work with. And that could be prima facie evidence of born alive infants. So that's where they're trying to suppress that videotape and they're very scared of it. David, you know, let's talk about one of the larger issues here. Um, obviously, the videos are disturbing to watch, but again, it's legal. And in fact, scientists who use fetal tissue say that they have been used to um, cure or, at least, or help prevent all sorts of diseases. They've been used to in the polio vaccine. They've been used in the rubella vaccine, chicken pox. They have uh, been used to treat Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. The research 
that using fetal tissue has saved lives. So are you against using any sort of fetal tissue for research? Well, so there's a, I think there's a couple different points to unpack there. First of all, you know, abortion is legal under a certain regulatory framework, but what's not legal is selling aborted fetal tissue, profiting off of fetal organs, changing abortion procedures in order to get higher quality body parts, or using partial birth abortions, or, or even live birth abortions to do so. Yes, and Planned so, Parenthood and says they're doing are... none of those things. I mean, Planned Parenthood says that you've deceptively edited the videos, right. but that they're not doing any of those things and that they follow the letter of the law. But, but right, back to right. The Planned Parenthood point. hasn't even responded to the to the the point by point description of a partial birth abortion procedure that their senior director of medical services gave in the very first video that we released. So they've they've dropped that argument. They've not even responded to it. But but again, are you are you opposed? What is your goal here, David? Are you opposed to? Are you trying to ban abortion outright by showing uh, these videotapes, or are you opposed to any sort of research being done on fetal tissue? Right. Well, the goal of this project, which was a two and a half year investigative journalism study, was to really clearly document and illustrate for the public exactly how Planned Parenthood harvests and sells aborted baby parts. And that's something that a lot of people find shocking, disturbing, offensive. And when it comes down to actual violations of the law, when people are using illegal abortion procedures in order to harvest and sell f fetal tissue for profit, um, that's, that's something that most people find barbaric and that's something that people don't want to be funded by their taxpayer dollars.